Hi Sagittarius, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you. All right, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You have Twin Flame, Divine Counterpart, Intuition. Listening to your intuition, or they are. Okay, so something about a Divine Counterpart. You have Trust. So it could mean trust your intuition. Enlightenment. Trust some sort of enlightenment. Going with the flow is underneath that. All right. What is going on for Sagittarius? You could be dealing with someone with a name like J or Jake or James with a J name or an M name. It's kind of what I'm getting for some reason that's coming through. It could be your initials, but okay. Page of Wands. High Priestess. So you have the High Priestess intuition card here. Under the deck, you have the King of Wands, which obviously could be you or it could be them. Ooh, what is this? All right. For some of you, have you see this person, whether it's, you know, at work or the gym or someplace else. I think this person is always keeping an eye on you the way these two are coming out. I don't want to say obsessed, but I do kind of feel like there's this, you know, when you are around, they definitely are like watching you, tracking you, seeing what you're doing. Yeah, Page of Swords. Also, for, there, yeah, there you are. Some of you are going to say this might be someone who can't move on from you with the Eight of Swords being right next to the Page of Swords. Or I can also read that as somebody you don't notice is watching you. But I would think if a, a Twin Flame card came out, you would know, you know who this is specifically. So maybe Ace of Swords, maybe you know this person wants to say something to you but just hasn't gotten the nerve to say something or they just... I don't know, I'm feeling this energy like you know something. You know what this person's thinking or feeling. Might be an air sign that King of Swords is here. I feel like your, intu your intuition, your psychic abilities, whatever you want to call them, are very strong right now. They're heightened. What is the star energy? You've got the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles, the King of Swords, and the Page of Cups. This past week we've had like so many people showing up in the readings. So this could definitely be the same person. Earth with air, air with earth. It could be two different. But um, also someone who may not be showing a lot of emotions, may be thinking a lot. Someone may work at home. Someone who could could be in another relationship but thinks about you all the time. Someone who's dreaming about you, daydreaming about you, wishing for you with the star card, maybe Aquarius specifically. You may have this person pop into your mind like a lot or randomly or something like that and it could be because they're thinking about you so strongly what is this moon energy manifesting you page of coin nine of swords this person is nervous to reach out but look at they think about you all the time interesting might be a capricorn so the page of coin here as well but they're nervous or worried what are they worried about anyone for what are they worried about love so you have someone who's in love with you who hasn't probably shown well maybe they've shown it, but they haven't told you or they're worried about how you feel about them but they're kind of staying in the background is what i'm seeing in this reading they could be a neighbor ten of cups or someone related to um a friend or you know a acquaintance family family acquaintance or something like that what is this ten i'm sorry what is this eight of coins tired feeling stuck okay this is not like where you guys know each other from. This could be that this person works a lot. They're always busy. Or you, but you guys can't be together. This could be someone who works a job. Like, you know, you guys have different hours. You work day, they work evening. Or if you don't work at all, they're always working. Something like that. They feel stuck or sad. I'm also getting that maybe for some of you, they may have said something that was hurtful in the past and feel bad about that. They can't get that out of their head. Okay. What is this page of wands over here? We got seven of wands. Now we got the king of cups. What is going on this week? And the king of wands. And you're under the deck. Okay. Let me just pause here and say I'm not surprised to see all this energy for Sagittarius. You guys are like that flame, that moths are just drawn to people, are drawn to your energy. Definitely there has to be at least two people here, minimum. Could be more. This could be someone who is very passionate, very drawn to you, wants to be with you, thinks about you a lot. Look at the sun. You make them happy. This person may be a Leo. They miss you, the Three of Swords, or you may miss them. That song, what's that song? Ain't No Sunshine When She's Gone, something like that. I see the Emperor here as well. 
What is this person doing though? Happy. That's what I'm getting. Like you make this person happy. This could be a third party. Now some of you might be married to the King of Pentacles here, and then there's a third person or another person that is, you know, you're interested in or they're interested in you. Sometimes we're with like a soulmate and then we end up meeting our twin flame or vice versa. And it's very throwing because it's like a very strong connection that you weren't expecting, especially if you're, you know, already married and you weren't really, you know, you weren't looking for something outside of your relationship. This person could just come in and just like light everything up. Just be like, wow. They could feel, I feel like the both of you feel this about each other. I get like they have fallen in love and they don't know why with the moon energy here is what I'm kind of saying. Like maybe... Someone feels a little guilty or bad that this has gone down this way, but it is, you know, it's feelings. You, sometimes, you know, feelings just come up. You can't fight them. Maybe, I almost feel like they're trying to stay away from you, too. Like, they may try to stay inside their house, but it's probably work. But, I mean, I just kind of get that feeling like I can't go and see Sagittarius because, you know, we can't be together. We shouldn't be together for some of you. Probably more, they're just missing you. They aren't around you. What is this high priestess? Okay, so I think the the message here is that this person likes you a lot. Or you guys like each other equally. You guys both have feelings for each other. What is this high priestess? Four of swords, the ace of wands, and the nine of cups. It's like nothing but good news. So there may be some communication coming in from this person. If you guys are not talking. All right, what's their, what is their action? What are they going to do next? Five of coins. Well, they may stay away. For how long? And obsessed a little bit? This could be the month of May because of the five here, but they could take sudden action. They're going to see something differently. I think they're tired of being out in the cold and, f and waiting and thinking about this a lot. Okay, what does Sagittarius need to know? Because the question I asked was action. Feeling out in the cold, thinking a lot, then maybe suddenly coming forward, Knight of Swords. What is going on here? A love call. Okay, so you're going to get some sort of communication messages. I do get for some maybe there could be a little, it could be coming in the form of just flirting, extra flirting, banter, um, small talk, possibly wink, you know, like a wink or like eyes. I see eyes, eye contact is probably what I should say. But um, what else is going on here? Boat. Maybe coming to see you? Is this progression arriving, receiving what you need, one more? Not enough? Okay. Yeah. Soulmates. Oh, ascending. Because I'm kind of getting you guys can't be together enough. There's something that's blocking this. If it's another person, sometimes I read soulmates as a different person than a twin flame. Those are two different connections. Some of you may be in a connection with someone and you just feel like it's not enough. And you want something more. You want this passion. You will be seeing this person, for some of you, soon in person sounds stupid but okay so it won't be online it won't be communication you're going to run into them or see them with the nine of cups because this is kind of like my bar card my restaurant card something like that out in the public they could be trying to uh, meet up with you or like run into you are they thinking about this okay what show me something else show me something else about this connection you right off the bat knight of wands death you may make this person want to commit and stop being a player. You may want to make them want to change. I've got a king of pentacles under here. What is this? What do they think about you or feel about you? Giving you an offer, but you may not want it. Maybe you're not going to see it coming. Now we got the king of swords, Sagittarius. What is going on? Who are all these men? Who are these kings? You have, I think, who was that last time? It was Taurus. But anyways, this is like maybe something you don't see though here. This person's in love with you. I think you have more people interested in than you may realize. I'm kind of getting for someone viewing. You don't realize you have three people who like you right now, who've got their eye on you, who may be good candidates, and who may be not just like watching you like walk by or just they're like they're um, maybe obsessed. They think about you a lot when they're at home. Let me pull one more from here. I have a question. I'm asking, you know, knowledge. Yeah, you may find this out. I was wondering if someone may would maybe doing magic or spells. I I don't know why. Like maybe just like candle spells or something like that. Or like they're thinking about you so much, it feels like it could be drawing you towards them. Enlightenment. No, you're gonna find something out. Is what these cards are telling me. I don't think you realize you have so many people uh, watching you. Someone who wants to change their ways. What else, Sagittarius? 
somebody from the past who's been feeling out in the cold who wants a relationship with you they want to get married <laughs> what else the Sagittarius needs to know might be a Taurus someone is hoping for you star card upset upset with themselves some of me have also been again mean or said something worried about an argument the two of you had eight of coins is in reverse maybe you're not putting the effort in with this person maybe you don't want to work with them anymore some of you you are um, a masculine that dates men dates masculine energies so some of you are going off on a new I don't know job or new adventure here some of you have felt smothered by someone. Maybe you were dating someone. You felt smothered. You don't want to put effort into something. Someone is going out of their mind right now. Someone's getting gray hairs because of stress is what I'm getting. I don't think it's you. I think it's someone else. They're waking up at night, feeling stressed out, thinking about what they can do to make this work out, watching you all the time. Yeah, focus, focusing on this. Somebody wants to go, like, someone didn't like your family. Could have been an air sign. Someone didn't like your family, but now it's like they want to go visit them or go see them, something like that. Like they realize they made a mistake. They didn't put in the effort or do something that you were hoping. Something was important to you. They want to make those changes now. They're trying to figure out how to win you back. They split the deck. Lots of messages or communication coming in. Someone wants to win your heart. Someone wants to soften you. Somebody wants to send you messages that will make you like fall in love or be in love. Or they want to send romantic messages. So... You could have water in your chart, but I think it's like they want to soften you, make you fall, make you fall in love, make you think they're romantic. Yeah, because somebody here wants to do something like a big gesture. This person feels a little arrogant, though. This person can't believe that you don't want to be with them. This person's like, what can I do to get Sagittarius back? What can I buy them? What can I give them? They could have a lot of money, but maybe they have, their ego is too big. It's out of proportion. You just don't like it. They're going to be sending you a message. They could be a, a Pisces, but I don't really get Pisces energy off this. I get more of like an Aries energy, Emperor energy, um, maybe a Capricorn or, you know, someone who definitely is like in your face. Air or fire energy, telling you what they think. So this person is a different person. That's what I'm saying. You have more than one, uh, many people showing up in your reading. So I'm hoping it's not confusing. I can't help what comes out. If everything wants to come out. Okay. What would this person possibly say to you that wants to soften you? And so they compare others to you. So they, again, they have high standards. So they may see you as like an empress, emperor energy. And they feel like they are your counterpart. Um, let's go back over here. Because this is someone else who is kind of in the shadows, kind of just watching. What would this person say to you? They don't want to let you go. That's exactly what they're doing. They're trying to figure out how to win you back. This is that eight of swords energy, kind of stuck watching. So... I think the main thing is the reading. I'm like, I think the message is to again, you need to trust your intuition. You know who's watching you, who likes you. There may be only one person out of this group that you really are interested in. And I get that person does love you. They definitely have feelings for you. So trust your intuition. Also, if you feel like one person is not a great candidate, like they're whatever, whatever about them you don't like, again, you're spot on. You're correct. So I'm going to leave it there, Sagittarius. Have a great week and I'll talk to you soon.